Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to begin the new chapter, chapter number 4, Analysis of Financial Statements. Before moving further, let's have a brief introduction about the chapter. Financial statement analysis is the process of reviewing and analyzing a company's financial statements to make better economic decisions. These statements include income statement, balance sheet, cash flow statement, statement of changes in equity. Financial statement analysis assesses the financial health and performance of the company. Financial statement analysis consists of comparisons for the company over the period of time and comparisons of different companies either in the same industry or in different industries. Let us be more clear about the term by understanding the meaning. Analysis of financial statements is a systematic process of critical examination of the financial information contained in the financial statements to understand and make decisions regarding the operations of the enterprise. The analysis of financial uh, statements is a study of relationships among various financial figures as set out in the financial statements that is balance sheet and statement of profit and loss. The complex data given in these financial statements is divided or broken into simple and uh, valuable elements and relationships are established between the elements of the uh, same statement or different financial statements. This process of division, establishing relationships and interpretation thereof to understand the working and financial position of a business is known as analysis of financial statement. Now let us understand types of financial analysis. Financial analysis, a financial statement analysis can be classified into uh, six different categories. Here we can present different types of financial analysis as it is presented here. Here on the basis of uh, stakeholders, first one is external analysis and second is internal analysis. So let us understand what is external analysis. External analysis is conducted by those who do not have access to the detailed records of an enterprise and therefore have to depend on published accounts. That is statement of profit and loss, balance sheet, directors and auditors reports. Such type of analysis is made by investors, credit agencies, government agencies and research scholars. The next is internal analysis. Internal analysis is conducted by the management to know the financial position and operational efficiency of the organization. The important feature of such analysis is that the management has access to all information of the enterprise and therefore the analysis is more detailed, extensive and accurate. Internal analysis is meant for management and external analysis is carried out by outsiders such as creditors, bankers, debenture holders and government agencies. Now let us see next form that is horizontal and vertical form. First one is horizontal analysis. This analysis is made to review and analyze financial statements for a number of years and are therefore based on financial data taken for those years. It is a time series uh, analysis. It shows comparison of financial data for several years against a chosen base year. It is useful for long-term trend analysis and planning. Comparative statements or comparative financial statements are an example of horizontal analysis which you will be studying further. Now next is 
vertical analysis. This analysis is made to review and analyze the financial statements of one year only. Ratio analysis of the financial statement relating to a particular accounting year in an example is an example of this type of analysis. Again, ratio analysis you will be studying further. Common size statements are example of this type of uh, analysis. Search and analysis is useful in comparing the performance of several companies of the same type or divisions or departments in one enterprise. Dynamic or horizontal analysis is a time series analysis and static or vertical analysis is carried out at one particular point of time generally when the accounts are closed. Now uh, let us see on the basis of duration here again uh, you can see here first one is uh, long term analysis and second is short term analysis. Now let us see first one that is long term analysis. Uh, long uh, Many stakeholders like uh, debenture holders, financial institutions, potential investors undertake long term analysis for of financial statements before investing their funds in the corporate form of business. For this analysis, information of more than one year is needed. Under this analysis, these stakeholders determine the present and future long-term solvency, profitability, liquidity, and efficiency of the borrowers. In brief, under long-term analysis, the evaluation of uh, these mentioned dimensions is done with the help of financial statements of more than one year. Let us see what is short term analysis. This kind of analysis is used to measure short term solvency or liquidity of the business entity. This kind of analysis is done by the short term lenders as well as the suppliers of raw materials. So, here we can understand that the analysis of financial statements is, is done in different ways for different purposes. For analysis uh, of financial statements, financial statements of one year or more than one year are considered. On the basis of analysis, different stakeholders make their rational decisions. So, I hope you would have understood this. That's all for today. Thank you very much.